Coney to YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Norfolk, Virginia, and today we're going to do a video review of Vamp with Clutch. And I have to give a shout out to my boy because I actually bought this from uh, eBay Esco Esco Besco 74. Originally, I just wanted Ace. This dude, that's dude, ah, this dude right here, pretty neat little dude. But he had a bunch of freaking GI Joes for sale, and I said, "What the heck? I'm gonna buy it." So I bought this and about three other vehicles. So you probably see a few more Joe reviews here later on. But this is look at this is interesting, man. This is like a Jeep. What can I say? Vamp actually stands for Vehicle Assault Multi-Purpose. So it's a big ass Jeep. No, no pun intended. It's like what's that guy's name? Bulkhead. Big, big Jeep. And let me show you the details. I, I love this because this is back in 1982. Like I said, it rules around rather well, even though it sounds <laughs> rather rough. Let me show you on that big, not rubber tires, they're plastic, but tough, man. There's like solid plastic. I know the construction is very rudimentary, but it has a lot of details, a lot of stickers. So back in the day, they didn't have molded on, so you actually have to put these stickers like, you know, I don't even know what, 46, 47. Has the winch over here. Let's see, yeah. A little mini gun. The driver, double, du double clutch. I'm trying to speak like a Japanese dude. Yeah, yeah, 46, 47. I don't know what that means. See, all these stickers, you know, G.I. Joe, you have to actually apply that. They had a little molding in the back, so. And a reciproc uh, reciprocating gun, 46, 47. Oops, and it came off of that. Which is okay because now I can show you with the reciprocating action a little better. So let me see if I can show you that. This little switch right here. Yeah, it goes pumped back and forth. Okay, big deal. Pump that, put that right in there. Swivels nicely. Swivels 380 all around, or 360 all around. Moves up about 60 degrees and maybe a little degree downwards. So it's got about uh, 70 degrees of mobility there. But it rotates. More details. I'm also, <laughs> the headlights are, uh, what you call it, stickers. It says stand away. Yeah, and it has a trailer hitch. I am mean, missing the two gas cans that Mitch are attached to here and the little ammo clips. So we got that going against it. But hey, it rolls around rather coolly. Not a bad little thing. Let's take a look at the driver. And here it is. Boy, the boy clutch. And the details are pretty good. You know, that's one of the things about G.I. Joe back in the day, and this is 1982, mind you, is that hey, it's pretty good for what you get. Uh, details are okay. His helmet does come off, and as far as articulation, you got head, uh, you got a ball jointed, kind of a ball jointed shoulder, sing bicep swivel, which is a great thing. Tight on this one, single joint on the elbow, and as you can see, there are rivets. So technology has definitely come a ways, and I'm going to show you in the size comparison over here. So same thing. You got a, a waist swivel, but good luck. Because it's only held by a little rubber band, so don't turn them too much. And a single jointed knee, so articulation is okay. Uh, I guess he can stand up in some weird poses if I can get him to stand up. If I had to stand, he'd be all right. So yeah, he size comparison wise, uh, he's slightly shorter than modern figures. I think these three and three quarter figures are closer to four inches because this is actually a three and three quarter figure and put his helmet back on sweet good looking figure i uh, you know nostalgia's sake i give him an eight out of ten let's put him over with his vamp vehicle over here let me stand him up oh no <laughs> yeah war machine is badass let me take him out of the frame because it's all about the vamp and clutch all right all right youtubers that's all i got and i catch you all next time